Who is it? It's Jane. Melrose Place, the complete first season, which was a must-see in the 90s with its sexy storylines all taking place in the California apartment complex, featuring fabulous-looking characters, arrives on DVD in stores tomorrow. The nighttime soap opera became successful career-launching vehicles for Marsha Cross and Heather Locklear, who went on to various starring television roles such as Spin City and Desperate Housewives. Creator Darren and Star talks about the fate of her character on the series and how she was spared to live another season. Marsha Cross really was somebody who was not initially brought in as a regular. There was an episode where Tom Calabro and Marsha Cross are in a car accident right after he proposes to her. And at the time, she was dead. I mean, she, you know, for all intents and purposes, we had planned that episode to be her last episode. But I remember being on the set that night when we did this great car stunt and uh, you know, the car, you know, rolled down the cliff and exploded and and I thought, you know, we have to bring her back. We have to figure out a way to bring back Kimberly. Heather Locklear personified the bitchy boss, Amanda Woodward, of Allison Parker, played by Courtney Thorne Smith, which, according to Darren Starr, wasn't exactly the description of her character on the page. Heather Locklear came into the show towards you know, the last third of the first season. And initially, there wasn't much of a character there. She was just coming in as Allison's boss. She wasn't necessarily even nasty or evil or anything other than just Allison's boss. She was a thinly written character. The eight disc DVD includes all 32 episodes with featurettes on the residents of Melrose Place, highlighting Amanda, the style of the show that defines an era and behind the scenes footage. I don't want to see you again until you know what you want. 